Hello and welcome to iNurture video. In this video, we'll discuss about telecommunication networks. After watching this video, you will be able to understand what is telecommunication, evolution of telecommunication, uses of telecommunication in everyday life, types of telecommunication network, types of public network, types of private network. Let us consider for a moment all the different communications that take place in an organization. Some communications are face to face, but others use some type of technology. Think of emails, phone calls, text messaging, viewing pages on the internet, downloading files. All these communications make use of a telecommunication network. A telecommunications network is a set of devices and links connected to each other and enable telecommunication. Therefore, telecommunication refers to the process of communication between two distant entities through technology. Now let us see how tele telecommunication has evolved. Telephone, mobile phone, data networks, dedicated networks, telegraph, telex, cable TV, TV, radio, press, post are types of telecommunication in which press, TV and cable TV are unidirectional mass communication system and the rest are bidirectional communication system. With the use of various electrical systems, telecommunication has transformed from mechanical communication to electrical communication. As you see here, electrical communication holds a major share of telecommunication compared to mechanical communication and other post and press. The future depends on electrical communication and therefore major press corporations are opting for electrical telecommunication as an opportunity to expand their business. Let's look at a few examples of the telecommunication services that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. Nowadays, we book tickets for travel or to watch your favorite actor's movie without standing in queue is possible because of advancement of internet which is a type of telecommunication service. Your business sales operation can also be easily handled with the help of telecommunication services. Similarly, you can access your bank account and perform various banking operations and also pay your credit card bills online using telecommunication services. There are two types of telecommunication networks. First, which is a public network and a private network. Now let's look at each of them in detail. A public network is a type of network wherein anyone named the generally public has access and through it can connect to other networks or the internet. Public network is owned and operated by a telecommunication network operators. To operate public networks, these operators must have a license and the customer using these networks must have appropriate equipment and the agreement with the operator. Since a public network has few or no restrictions, anyone is able to access the network. Malicious users can try to infiltrate the system of unsuspecting users. So users need to be cautious, possible security risk while accessing it. Now let's look at a type of public network. Telephone network or telephony network are also called as fixed network. PSTN, Public Swiss Telephone Network, ISDN, Integrated Services Digital Network, Mobile Telephone Network, Telex Network and Paging Network. Public Data Network, Internet, Radio, Television Networks, let's study each one of them in detail. Telephone Network is a type of public network. It is also called as Telephony Network or Fixed Network. It provides fixed wireline connection between two users of voice communication. In addition to this, voice base modem to replace data by speech. Mobile telephone network is also referred as a cellular mobile network. It was introduced by the users who want to communicate while they are traveling. A cellular network or mobile network is a communication network where the last link is wireless. A network is distributed over land areas called cells, each served by a at least one fixed location transceiver known as a cell site or base station. A base station provides the cell with the network coverage which can be transmission of voice, data or others. Radio waves are used to transfer signals to and fro from the cell phone. Earlier, telex network was used extensively. It is similar to telephone network. The main purpose of the network is to send text messages. However, with the introduction of different messaging systems such as facsimile and emails, it is rarely used these days. Paging networks involve the usage of a pager. A pager is a wireless telecommunication device that receives and displays numeric messages or receives announces voice messages. Pagers can be used to contact users without using voice. It beeps on receiving a message. Since the cost of providing a text message service is quite high, its usage has significantly reduced in most of the countries. Internet Internet is the global system of interconnected computer networks that use internet protocol sites called TCP and IP. 
to link devices worldwide. It is a network of networks. With the introduction of World Wide Web, its growth and popularity has increased rapidly. It enables various internet service providers, ISPs, to offer internet services to residential as well as commercial purposes. Radio and Television Networks Radio and Television Networks are unidirectional and are used for mass communication. These networks are usually accessed using the cable TV. A data connection established using cable TV network is shared between several users without requiring separate connection to every home as in case of ISDN. It is mostly found in urban areas and it is very economical. PSTN refers to the Public Switch Telephone Network as an international telephone system on copper wires carrying analog voice data. A telephone services carried by the PSTN is often called plain old telephone services, also called as POTS. PSTN contains public land mobile network and internet. Let's look at each one of them separately. Public land mobile network is a wireless communication offered to subscribers. A network is connected to ISDN or PSTN network at the trunk exchange level. Internet is a network which connects network globally across various hosts of ISPs. It can be connected in two ways, ISDN network and ADSL network. In ISDN network, dial-up connection is used, whereas ADSL network offers permanent high rate of internet service. ISDN is an international communication standard for sending voice, video and data over digital telephone lines or normal telephone lines. Usually, it provides circuit switch connections for voice or data. And similarly, it provides packet switch connections for data only. ISDN supports data transfer at rates of 64 kbps and in few countries it supports data transfer rate at 128 kilobytes bandwidth in case of upstream as well as downstream directions. A public data network is a network established and operated by telecommunication administrator or a recognized private operating agency for the specific purpose of providing data transmission services for the public. Public data network offers the following connections, point-to-point -point lease line connection. In a point-to-point -point lease line connections, two areas are connected to each other using a lease line circuit. And this type of connection is considered quite economical and connections between two LANs. Circuit switch connection is a circuit switch connection in two nodes within a network use a circuit for communication, such as a connection is not widely used these days. Packet switch connection in a packet switch connection, packets of data are sent through network based on the address in each data packet. Packet switching services is offered by the X.25 network. It works as per the X series recommendation of ITU-T. Private networks are created to fulfill the business needs of organizations. They maintain their own network. Services offered by such network consist of data, voice and special control information. Now let's look into type of private networks. First is voice communication network. Second, voice communication networks are private voice networks used specially by the police of few emergency services. Such networks are also known as private or professional mobile radio. Private networks are also used by railway companies. These networks use cables that are alongside the tracks. Data communication networks. Data communication networks refer to the transmission of this digital data between computers within an organization. They are private in nature. They are used in banks, hotels and travel agencies to manage their widespread information. Virtual private network. A virtual private network extends a private network across a public network such as internet. Private networks are very expensive. So organizations use VPN for their communication. VPNs may allow employees to securely access a corporate intranet while located outside the office. VPN provides security by encrypting the connections across the network and consider less secure. Let us have a quick recap on what we discussed. Telecommunication network is a set of devices and links connected to each other to provide communication. Private and public networks are two types of communication network. Public networks are used for general public and are owned and operated by telecom network operators. Private networks are owned by one or more firms for an exclusive use. Users should be more cautious while using public networks when compared to a private network.